the youngest storyteller in the history of the Stoop Storytelling Series, Brian Gilbert. Give him a hand. Alright, I'd like to start off by um, apologizing because I'm from the suburbs and there are a lot of stereotypes about the suburbs that we're all extremely nerdy and we're losers and that we don't know how to have fun and basically all of them are true. Um, <laughs> last year, I, I was going, I'm in, uh, I just finished my first year of high school and, uh, yeah, alright. <laughs> So last year before summer, I got it through my head that um, I wanted to have an extra elective and there was PE and health that was in my way for my first year of high school. And so I figured, oh, you know what? I'll just get those out of the way. I'll go into summer school, which is a horrible idea. Man. <laughs> I thought, oh, you know what? How many people, how many people can fail PE and health? It's an easy class. A lot of people can. A whole lot. And they're all insane. <laughs> It is horrifying. So, as I said, I'm from the suburbs, I'm nerdy, I'm, uh, I'm probably, no, I am the whitest person you will ever meet. <laughs> and walking into that classroom that first day, I get to, uh, everyone was really frightened, they didn't know, well, sorry, no, I was extremely frightened, I didn't, I didn't know who I was gonna meet there, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be killed or something, and, and there are many exciting characters there. I'm not sure how many of you have watched The Breakfast Club. Um, if you haven't, that's kind of sad because I wasn't even born when that was made. <laughs> and, um, yes. um, so in The Breakfast Club, if you haven't seen it, there's a lot of odd people in detention, and there's like the nerdy one, and ironically his name's Brian, so um, it's me. And there's, there's the one who's kind of crazy, there's the one who's a thug, there's, there's the popular kid, and we had all of that, plus a few extra. Um, I'm pretty sure, just to name a few people that kind of stood out in my mind, um, one I'm pretty sure was 20. <laughs> uh, don't really know why he was there. Um, one girl was married and had seven tattoos. It's kind of creepy how I saw them all. I don't want to go over it. Um, um, one, there was an Asian man who was very, very tall, and he was, he was a really nice guy, and I wish I could remember his name, but everyone just called him Yao Ming. And he didn't, he didn't seem to mind it, he was a great kid, and um, th then there was also, I said, I said I was the whitest person you would ever meet, but that is an understatement compared to the person I met there. His name, I'm not going to mention because it's kind of sad. He is, if awkward were a currency, he would be Donald Trump. He, oh, so weird to hang out with him. So, um, we were all sitting there in PE and health, and we had to, we had to, like, run around miles every day, and it was, it was kind of, kind of boring, kind of creepy, just in general. And, um, but there was, even though we were all different people, and we all didn't know anyone, there was one thing we could agree on, and that was kickball. And we loved kickball, because if we did that, we didn't have to do work. And so, we, we would all go out there, and we would pick different teams, and then by the end, we all knew everyone's strengths and weaknesses pretty well. And so every day, we'd go out there, and we'd play kickball. And it was, it was great, because everyone, everyone was good at stuff. Yao Ming was really good at catching. Um, the 20-year-old, uh, the, the I don't know. I don't know what he was good at. He kind of sat down for most of the time. Um, and and even, even the awkward boy was really good with his, like, extra like, double kick when he was kicking the ball. And, fun to watch than he was going to play. <laughs> and so, um, by the end of this, I had gotten my credits. It was kind of sad. Some people didn't even then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we had, I had gotten my credits. I had gotten what I needed to do. And uh, during the school year, I got to have both art and chorus. Again, I'm a nerdy, loserish one. And uh, I was... Uh, 
it was, it was great because not only did I have to get PE and health out of the way, I also could make fun of my friends who could, were still in PE and health. And um, they would always be like, oh man, I have to study for the health test. And I'd be like, you guys had to study? It's amazing. I had open no tests. Um, and so um, I, I learned by the end of the summer that really the best way to win is to hang out with a whole bunch of losers. <laughs>